Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Practical Tutorial. This tutorial is about uh, showing you uh, how do we write this COBOL programs and the different concepts under a COBOL programs law. So to, in this video, I would like to show you how do we write a COBOL program using date function. As you all know that you will be writing a COBOL program. Uh, for example, you have written a COBOL program uh, to create some report on that report you want to add a date of that particular day so how do you capture it you have written a cobol program and you wanted to you wanted to populate that uh, date uh, the runtime date onto the report so how do you do it so cobol has provided a date function with the help of date functions you can capture the present runtime date and you can print it wherever you want so example I'm trying to print this on the report yes you can print it or you simply want to decapture the date and uh, display it on spool you can do it so now I'm going to the connect uh, I'm going to connect to the mainframe terminal and uh, going to write the COBOL program how to use this date function and compile the COBOL program and try to execute and see the results so what do you say let's go ahead and connect to the mainframe terminal okay now I'm connected to the mainframe terminal so here it is here is my COBOL program so it's starting with the comment section like uh, COBOL program working with the date function this is the column area uh, this is the code section area where you can see up to 1 to 80 columns are divided here so uh, every pro as you know every program starts with the identification division program ID author data division working storage section at this I'm trying to declare a three variables called year month and day this all is stored in the group variable these are called as a group variable and these are elementary variables in group you have year month day and in the procedure division this is the main para so I'm trying to accept a date uh, from a date function so these function uh, whenever I from date so that the dip the present date will capture in this and the store into this date variable so in this date so it will be a six byte it will be a six byte and it is stored in the form of year month and day okay so here what I'm going to do is uh, I can reformat this data okay instead of displaying either I can display complete WS date or I can display individual variables so first I'm trying to display the complete date that is uh, year month and day format and another is I'm trying to display individual month a day and a year and the program ends with the stop run so this is how uh, this is how we can use a date function okay okay now you understood the COBOL program now we need to compile this okay in order to compile you have a COBOL compilers so IGYWCL so where I'm trying to keep uh, uh, I'm giving it as input as my source program that is uh, uh, wherever my path is there I, I mean the source program path is there so this is my path and I'm have the program name as date uh, so the date and it's called share and uh, I'm giving a sysl mod so where I want to show I uh, store this uh, load library the date uh, load library in this load module into this load library so now I'm going to submit it okay just submit submit enter enter yes you can see max is equal to zero and if you want to verify it you can go to spool and you can verify the spool can see that it has been ended with max is zero that is written code is zero okay in this way you have uh, compiled your source program correctly and it ran good so now the next step is running a COBOL program right so how do we run it yes you have to write a separate JCL so this is your job card and this is your comment section area and it starts with the exit statement so step 01 and you have to give your program name and at the same time you have to specify the load module of this particular program okay and you have to specify sysout in order to capture the log I mean uh, uh, in order to sh 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 I mean see the results of this particular program so you have to specify sysout equal to star and if you have any parameters need to be passed to this program you'll be using sys and ad star so since I don't have any parameters that is need to pass to this program so I'm not using it so let's keep it as this and just submit it okay enter yes it ended with max is zero 
and I'm going to show you the results okay it will be stored in sysout okay see you can see initially it has been displayed with a year month and date right so now it is displaying a date month and year so that's how a date function works in a COBOL programs and it is very very important as I said uh, it is mostly helpful while creating a report programs or if you're trying to print any data or if you're trying to generate any email report or if you're trying to create if you're sending it as an email notification or something else so you just need to uh, you, you, you need to use this date function okay and uh, populate the date value in the report and just process it and send that uh, processed output as an email or a PDF or anything so this uh, uh, that's how uh, this COBAR program works okay mm, with this I'm going to end this video uh, thank you so much for watching if you like this video kindly please subscribe me on my youtube channel or like or comment thank you so much and have a great